Hey, Ron Douglas here. I've been playing around with this new AI tool. It's part of the Open AI project. It's called the uh, Chat GPT. And it's kind of like a research engine. I don't know if it's full AI, although, although it can tap into certain knowledge and produce results, produce research, produce different variations on things. And I'm going to show you how, I mean, the AI of the future is going to be amazing. It, they predict that they're going to keep feeding this AI with intelligence. And over time, the AI is going to be so intelligent that it knows more than all humans, all scientists, everybody combined, like all researchers. It just kind of knows all this stuff. And it's just going to be the source for intelligence. Because, you know, say you're doing research on cancer or something, you could tap right into this knowledge base of just everything that's known throughout humanity. <laughs> you know, it's going to be that smart where it's going to be just, you know, a lot of professions are going to no longer, going to become obsolete, no longer needed because this intelligence is going to be right there. And it's going to become kind of scary depending on how they use it. They can use it for good or use it for evil. Hopefully they use it for good. Hopefully it helps us extend our lifespans. They say that technology within the next 10, 20 years is going to grow faster than it did in the prior 100 years or whatever the stat is. So it's going to be amazing. So open AI, the uh, chat GPT, everybody's talking about it. So I'm going to give you uh, three or four different things you can use it for. Some cool things you can use it for. Actually jot it down in the interest of time here. So you could ask it, uh, basic questions, you could say, um, you know, questions and give me the answer. So, for instance, what are the top seven sales objections and how can a salesperson address them? So you can put that in and it operates on what's called prompts. So this is a prompt and it will actually uh, do the research for you. And it will give you the questions and how to address them, right? I'm not interested. Address by identifying the customer's needs and explaining how your product or service can address them. So, you know, you could have it do all type of stuff, man. It's just crazy. If you want to write articles, you could have it write eBooks for you. You could have it write, you know, free lead generations. You could have it write uh, emails for you. It's just amazing. Watch, that's just one. That's a basic thing. Here's a little bit more advanced. So you could say, so you could ask it to look at a URL and um, provide the bullet points for all the key takeaways from that particular URL. So I went to uh, Tim Ferriss' site here, and he talks about, he has these really long articles. So say, for instance, if I didn't want to read all this and I just want the main points, he talks about how to lose 20 to 30 pounds in five days, extreme weight cutting, secrets of UFC fighters. Not that I necessarily want to do that, but... I want to just pull the main points from it. So I would say summarize this URL and uh, use bullet points for all the key takeaways. So I plop that into the uh, AI. So you could also do regenerate response. So it can give you a whole different like revised response. But let's uh, move on to this next one here. Summarize this URL. So it's going to go to that URL and it's going to summarize it for you and give you the key takeaways. That is crazy. You can't do that with Google, <laughs> for sure. For sure. So that that's pretty smart. So this can cut down your reading time dramatically. Like if you want to just consume knowledge, instead of reading all these different pages, you could put URLs and just get summaries like that. Um, then you could say you could have it write for you, but in a different kind of narrative you could say brainstorm new angles or approaches that are uncommon i'm just gonna say uncommon or novel all right so say for instance we put this in i wanted to find stuff that's not the common knowledge and that always makes for good content right if you're doing blogging if you're doing even youtube videos you could have it search for youtube videos you can find the questions that people are asking in your niche and have it come up with answers and then use it as content for uh videos for posts whatever you want but uncommon uh stuff uncommon responses typically make for good content so if i plop that in 
fastest way to build an audience of 100,000 fans on social media. Brainstorm new angles or approaches. So you can see here, it's giving me some ideas, new angles or approaches based on that. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing here was you could have it right in the voice of some famous person. So I'm going to have it write an email in the voice of comedian Bill Burr that shares the top vacation destinations in the Caribbean. So comedian Bill Burr is going to do it in his voice. So you can do it in anybody's voice. Like you can do it like if you wanted to write in the voice of uh, who's the guy with the uh, out William Gladwell uh, outliers uh, Malcolm Gladwell. I'm sorry. You can have it right in his voice. You, anybody's voice that's popular. So, like, for instance, it can get, like, you could play around with it and get pretty funny. It's your boy Bill Burr here, and I'm going to give you a little vacation inspiration for the summer. I know we all need a break from the daily grind, and what better way to do that by heading down the Caribbean? Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Bill, I've been in the Caribbean before. So it's like kind of writing it in his voice. But trust me, there's always something new to discover in these tropical paradises. So if you don't like the way he did it, you can have it redone. So let me show you how that works in a second. Talk to you soon, Bill Burr. You can regenerate the response and see if it comes up with something funnier. It did a funnier one earlier. Let's see if you put Dave Chappelle, what would happen? But you could play around with it. I'm not going to go through it here, but it's just a cool little research tool. I mean, it's not, it's just really the tip of the iceberg of what AI is going to become. But you can see that they're making strides with what these computers can come up with and how it can think and how it can rationalize and come up with variations and talk like a, a human being and produce content back at you. So eventually they're going to be implementing this and using it for robotics and different things. And the future is going to be amazing. They say also, if you could live another 20 years or so, you may even be able to live until you're like 120 or something like the lifespans are going to increase because of all this AI and technology and innovations and uh, breakthroughs in the medical field and all that stuff. So for better or for worse, this is a, uh, going to be a huge trend going forward. So I encourage you to play with it. It's not always going to be free. They're probably going to, you know, it's expensive to run this from what I hear. And they're probably going to be charging for it. And they're just kind of giving everybody a sample of it. And they're going to commercialize it. And so you want to get in now while it's free and uh, tell everybody about it. I mean, I'm not here to promote it like that. I just think it's a great innovation, especially like school kids can use it for research. Uh, I told my daughter about it. And um, maybe she's looking at it. I don't know. She doesn't listen to me, but <laughs> you know, she'd be smart too. And and that's it. So if you like this, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, click the subscribe button below. Leave me a comment. Like the video. And you know, I'm not a big YouTuber or anything. I'm trying to get more involved with YouTube. I'm super super introvert. I'm not really a video guy, but I'm doing this guys for you. Add value. So. Appreciate if you could uh, like the channel, subscribe to the channel. I don't even have the lingo down, but <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I'll talk to you again soon.